and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some legion bannerman we're gonna be playing another demacia bannerman deck this time we're splashing noxus for a little drummer we got a legion drummer here that has support give my supported ally quick attack this round and that's gonna be important because we're pairing that with a bunch of challengers whether it's trifarian glory seeker which is a great challenger and a great one to give quick attack and then Laurent Protégé and Fiora. Um, we'll also have Genevieve Elmhart at the top end. Um, but, you know, all of those challengers, those are all great things to give a quick attack to. Um, then, of course, we also have Warchef. So we got some good support in here. Bannerman will make our units larger. We're going with Garen again because we've been having a ton of success with Garen. Garen has been looking great. And we have more ways to strike. So we not only have our concerted strikes and our single combats like we've had before. But now the other good part about playing Noxus is we have access to Whirling Death as well. That can be a one-sided strike for battling ally against a battling enemy. So that's going to be great for our Fiora as well. So our Fiora is going to have um, lots of ways to strike outside of combat. And then, of course, also in combat and has the ability to get um, Quick Attack in combat thanks to the Legion Drama. All right, so that's our deck. Should be a good one. Let's go play five games over in ranked, and we'll see how we do with um, Legion Bannerman, is what we're calling this one. Yeah, Garen with Whirling Death can be awesome. And, of course, Garen, Garen's champion spell is Judgment, and so if we can have the Garen champion spell with Judgment, get that for Fiora. That's also awesome. Sejuani Gangplank, both of those level up by dealing Nexus damage, so our goal should be to try to keep them from dealing as much Nexus damage. Now, I guess I'm going to keep Concerted Strike because that's going to be an important card to, to get rid of both champions. We already have a turn a 1, a 2, and a 3 mana card, so it's not like we need to mulligan the Concerted Strike and look for you know ways to help our curve because we already got uh, some curve stuff here. So we'll keep this Concerted Strike for the late game of trying to use those to remove these champions. This land is ours. The world awaits. Forward. Ha! Break their spirits and their swords. So I want to play the Protégé, because Protégé doesn't die to, you know, make it rain and stuff like that. Um, like, if I play Glory Seeker, we're, could be real weak to make it rain. And I don't want to go just straight to combat again, because they could just make it rain my Flea Feather Tracker. They're going to be leveling these things up fast with the help of Monkey Idol. For the glory of Demacia. Don't nab my cards. My cards are cool. Hey, darn pirates always nabbing my stuff. All right, let's see. Who does not know the name Laurent? So I want to see if they play Gangplank here. That's my hope, is that they play a Gangplank. Mm, they did not. They did not have the Glory Seeker for that. Oh, 
Victory requires a sharp blade. Okay. Show them the might of Noxus. I mean, no reason to do that. All right. I'll cut them apart. Harry, report. You are a hot, hot affair. They have one life. King Clank and Sejuani are at four out of five. I'm hoping a concerted strike can take down this King Clank. I was gonna say I wouldn't have been surprised if they go you know warning shot. Yeah, warning shot here to level this up. Your king has returned. I was forged by wind. Get them all. Of course, the problem is if they have another... The problem is, is if they just have third warning shot in hand. Seems very unlikely. But if they do, that's a real problem. Alright, GG's. I think we had to kill Sejuani because Sejuani would could frost you know, they have make a rain warning shot warning shot, stuff like that. They could um frostbite my team again like while I'm attacking it, so I think we had to get rid of Sejuani. Because at first I was kind of planning on getting rid of the Gangplank, but then I realized that, yeah, we got to get rid of that Sejuani because that's going to be leveled up too. And a good thing we did, because that Mega Rain would have dealt the damage to me. Garen Fiora? I oh, know, all these are good in like a Demacia matchup, but we need to... We need to curve out, but the rest of our deck is kind of about curving out. Maybe I should have mulliganed the single combat. My shield is yours. Honor guide me. 
not the two most ideal cards to draw. The Legion drummer, protege. Who does not know the name Laurent? What are they gonna do? They just have like a barrier card. Always two steps ahead. This should be my 2-2 striking first, which would get rid of the barrier. That didn't work out as well as I was hoping. Kind of scary. Time to get rowdy. For king and country, feed Demacia. I need to double spell with these things. So I have two blockers. Challenge, challenge. Yeah, we're at single combat. Yeah, we should be able to go to one, I think. Should be able to go to one. Now if they pump... Yeah. No one goes hungry. All right, down to one. an important one. Shut up. 
All right, so yeah, I wanted to play the. I guess I want to play Repost instead of playing War Chefs here, cause, because like the Grizzled Ranger is going to give them another body, and so I just I just want more bodies and play. Ooh, that one's good. Head to the face. Can't bite on an empty stomach. Defend the Empire. So I guess if they have a barrier card, I lose, right? I can't. I can't stop a barrier card from happening. Fear is the first of many foes. Yeah, I can't play both of these. Justice waits for no one. Hmm. No, I can't I can't stop both of them. No matter what I do, so might as well just go with this. GG's. Got out Demacia. That that turn I played Garen. I need to keep double spelling with the more two drops. Or if I would have just challenged Fiora with my 5-1 and not not got the quick attack and not done the repost, if I would have just not done that, then I could have played the War Chefs instead. And then I would have had one extra blocker by playing that War Chefs. So like that's that's where I messed up. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have attacked with the Legion drummer and done the repost thing. I should have just had my five one challenge, let the five one die, play war shafts, get another blocker. It's my first time losing with a Garen deck in a really long time. It did you know, we did lose to another Garen deck, so And I didn't mulligan as much as I should have, I think. So we really didn't, uh, did a poor job of curving out. Now, I like this. So, you know, my plan is War Chefs on two, Fiora on three. My plan is War Chefs plus another two drop on four. My deck is filled with two mana cards. And so I think on turn four, we should be able to have two, two mana cards to be able to pair War Chefs with. There we go. A single combat. That'll work. Um, you know, because Draven Teemo is going to be really aggressive, and like one, I don't want them to have Teemo because it's elusive, and then two, we need blockers. Uh, they're not really listening to step number one. Labor I'll them not have Teemo. Yeah, that's true. If I didn't cast the Repost, then, you know, obviously we didn't know about the Whirling Death, but if I would have gone with that line, then I would have had Whirling Death plus Judgment also. So that, that was what we needed to do. Now, always two steps ahead. I have the best job. Try quickly. Oh God. They have vision. Time for the money makers. What a mess. Mushrooms. Great hand. Teemo into House Spider into Draven with Vision. Dang, great hand. Is that the perfect first three turns? I think it is. Anything else? <laughs> That's just going to start Jury Rig. Oh, Flame Chompers. Right. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Uh, all right. We I'm... march as one, an unstoppable force.
This would mean I only take four. They would keep both spiders and the urchin. favorite yeah they they just had a perfect hand the hand was absolutely perfect turn one teemo turn two house spider turn three draven with discarding vision turn four urchin discard the o2 to challenge and then also get excited to blow up your thing discard jury rig and then the next turn crowd favorite like are you kidding me <laughs> Cannot be any more perfect. Hold fast. Just can you stomach this? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing about that crowd favor yet. This is me going down to <clears throat> at most three. Like, the most life I can have. They can go to two also with the spinning axe. I guess, wait, I I just killed the war... I guess I... Could I have had warship? No, I couldn't have had warship stay alive. Okay, sure. And then you just have decimate to finish the game. Absolute perfect game. GG's. I wish I would have just challenged the Draven with the Fiora instead of challenged the Teemo. Alright, we're going to need units. Not spells. And, you know, the Bannerman help grow those units as well. The problem with playing Fleet Feather Tracker right here is Avalanche. I kind of wish I would have led with War Chefs. Not a bad time for, like for us, that's not a bad time for them to have Grasp of the Undying whenever they're at 20. We'll take that. One banner, one destiny. For justice, for Demacia. They, no vengeance, or no uh, ruination this turn. Like next turn's the ruination turn. Empty stomach. 
Alright, nice 10 damage. Put him down to 8. And now still no ruination because that vengeance took up so much mana. Um... Can't single combat and kill that. You're covered. I think we go for multiple bodies in play. Always two steps ahead. Over the Genevieve Elmhart. I guess they're still not able to ruination. Follow my lead. So yeah, might as well do this. this correctly. These woods belong to us. We're pumping up the smallest, the thing with the least amount of health as far as having all these attack them. Having our other smallest thing challenge. I have no idea what eight mana is supposed to, how they're supposed to survive this. No idea. Ah, harsh winds. Okay. That's a start. Not enough. They need double harsh winds. As I expected. There we go. Back in the win column with an emphatic win. And we're now 2-2 two and two with our Legion Bannerman deck. GG's. So we just lost to another Garen deck. You know that... Uh, um, you know, that can definitely happen. And then the, the Teemo Draven deck had the best hand I've ever seen to beat us with the other, our other loss. Our deck has felt pretty strong, though. Besides those two things. In the mirror match, you know, I could have won that one with different lines. Hmm. I usually like Glory Seeker quite a bit, but I don't think this is a very good Glory Seeker matchup. I'm gonna make it rain deck. So we'll see. I don't. I don't mind having Glory Seeker though. Um, that's just fine that we drew another one. We'll kind of see what happens. I've whipped up something special. Those cards, powder kegs are really rough. So just traded our one drop for that. Do I pass turn? No, I challenge this. Awesome. That 
a Mega Rain would have killed all this stuff. <laughs> so I'm glad to get that out of the hand. I don't like them nabbing my stuff, though. Always nabbing my stuff. Safety will cost you. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. I need just a moment. Boys. Okay, they've not dealt damage to me this turn. Defend the Empire. You get yours. Hmm. I like the Nexus damage when they've already used a warning shot. I do like that. This would leave me with all things with one health, which isn't a wonderful spot to be against Twisted Fate. The good news is we have, we have just as many cards in hand as they do, plus we have all these things with the one health. We have fought through the Mega Reigns. And everything. More powder kegs. in such a tough spot. Them 
I don't know what they're doing over there. They're just not doing much. I'm expecting more resistance. They have played two Mega Rains. And two Warning Shots? No, just two Mega Rains. Alright, going upstairs with that. So I can single combat or whirling death to save four life. I think we whirling death while we are in combat. Alright, so leveled up Piora. Going to a 4-4. Four -four. So is the plan, I mean, is the plan just Riptide Rex? It's gotta be, right? Just always have Riptide Rex. That card's super fair. Oh, that's perfect. It's doing six, six damage to Fiora and then one damage to everything else. That is literally perfect. I can't save Fiora with Riposte. Huh. How about that? It's perfect. Right? Isn't it six to... Oh, wait, no. Is it not six to Fiora? Wait, okay, wait. Oh, maybe it's two to this thing. Maybe it's only two to Fiora. I long for a word. That one goes there. That one goes to Fiora. Fiora. There, there, there. Okay, no, it's only two to Fiora. We can't save Fiora. Yeah, but still that Riptide Rex. It took my single combat, my riposte, and four units off of the board <laughs> for for technically two cards for warning shot plus riptide rex it's for like come on Protect House Laurent. i will not mind that card being nerfed riptide rex If, it's, if I was in charge of, of nerfs for Wednesday, it would be Riptide Rex, and Ash would have a different... I'd say Trifarian Assessor only draws one card each time, instead of it can draw you know, up to six cards, depending on how many you have. I think it, it should just draw one card. Ash's level up of... Things without zero power can't block. That needs to change. I don't know exactly what to change it to, but it needs to change to something reasonable because that's not reasonable. And um, and Riptide Rex can go to four instead of seven cannon barrages. Still be very powerful at four cannon barrages, but that's the number it should be is four, not seven. That still does eight damage. Still eight mana dealing eight damage. That's still really good. I should get rid of three of those cannon barrages. Um, and I think that's all I would change right now. I don't think anything in They Who Endure needs to change. Oh, Sejuani should probably not be as good as Sejuani is, honestly. Sejuani can lose some, uh, should go to a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, Sejuani should be a 5-5, five five, not a 5-6.
Yeah, so Sejuani should be like basically like the same level as all the other champions, like not have the sixth health here. Like, yeah, this should be a five five. I don't know what a good level up ability for Ash would be. I'm not sure. But it's not this. But you know, I just don't know enough about the you know, I just don't know enough about League of Legends and, and the lore and all that kind of stuff of like what it should have. But it shouldn't be that. Yeah, they who endure is very, very good. I don't I don't know if it needs to change though. Right now. Um like, if you take away Overwhelm, that card's not going to be played, probably. They should they should just put Will of Ionia back to 4 mana instead of 5 mana. That should change. That that helps shut down They Who Endure. Right? That card's amazing against They Who Endure. Uh, especially the They Who Endure atrocity thing. Just make Will of Ionia playable again. That's the people that complain about Will of Ionia. That's what they get, is they who enter. So let's see. So if I would... So I would change... I would change Shadow Assassin back. Will of Ionia back. Ash, the level up. Um, Trifarian Assessor should just draw one card. Sejuani should be a 5-5. Five five. Um... And then Riptide Rex do four, not seven. I think that's, um, and then maybe 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 Petty Officer to be a two two. Honestly, like the the three one, it wasn't any good. The three two, it's maybe that thing should be a two two. The three two, it's it's incredible now. Maybe Petty Officer should be a two two. It's a 2-2 two, two plus another body for 3 mana. Like, that's that's still good. Why would Rex be bad with 4 cannonballs? You're doing... You're, for 8 mana, you're doing 8 damage, and you're getting a 7-4. You're getting a 7-4 that does 8 damage. I don't think it would be bad at all, especially when it... Because basically it's been paired with all of these... You know, all the other damage stuff that Bilgewater already has and, and you know, pair it with either um, Noxus that has more removal or PNZ that has more removal. So you get to keep the board pretty clear and then Riptide Rex just all is always a wrap. Y'all, <laughs> y'all are... Y'all think Sejuani would see no play as a 5-5? Five five? The difference between Hecarim and Sejuani, like the Freljord cards are amazing, and and Sejuani is amazing, and has a great like Sejuani's removal immediately, and has Overwhelm, and has a great level of ability. Sejuani would absolutely see just as much play as a five five. It's n it's nothing like Hecarim. Like Hecarim is not removal. It, um, you know, you have to attack with Hecarim. It's in Shadow Isles, which is a, a worse region than Freljord. There's just so much. There's so much difference between those two cards. Sejuani would would see just as much play as a 5-5 five five, as a 5-6. It, it would just make th trades more reasonable with Sejuani. It would make the card more reasonable. Anyway, yeah, I know like this ending didn't really have anything to do with Legion Bannerman. Um, but... Um, but, uh, yeah, our deck, I think our deck felt pretty strong. Riptide Rex is just a killer, right? Like, you know, they have, you know, Riptide Rex, and especially multiple Riptide Rex. We saw the Riptide Rex take out two of my spells and four units. It was a six for two, because they used Warning Shot. That card's just a killer. You know, we didn't, didn't have either of my larger bodies with Garen or Genevieve Elmhart against the Riptide Rex, and I didn't have Bannerman. To make things larger either so i just had a bunch of small things and they were just able to kill all, all the small things 
Um, but the deck, deck felt pretty strong, good at curving out. Maybe not as good as Shen. Fiora was all right. There's a lot of good three mana stuff, so maybe just the Shen Garen. Uh, that one felt stronger. Shen felt stronger than Fiora being a 3 5. All right, but that's it here for Legion Bannerman. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, feel free to leave those comments. What would you change? What do you think of what do you think of my changes uh, that I was talking about there? Um, and you know anything for the new set? You know, feel free to leave any kind of comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.